Hello, this is Orange Phonics, and this is my second Blender tutorial. And what I'm going to do today is um, show you the close simulator. We'll maximize this. Okay. So we can get a good view of the whole world. And we've got a default cube. We, we need that today, in fact. So we'll, yeah. We'll have that. Got that there. So 3D cursor, mesh, plane, scale it up, say, five times. This will be our cloth, and this will be our object. The cloth drapes over. If we go into cloth, and we add a cloth now, it free falls. Why does it free fall? Because we've got no collision. Yes, we've got a collision to this, cloth collision to this, but we need a collision for this. Okay, we'll alt it again. Okay, that doesn't really deform like a cloth, does it? Do you know what? We've only got four vertices to work with. So, go and tap to go into the animal, W subdivide. I usually do 10 cuts, just because my computer can handle it, my processor can handle it. But you can do more or less, whatever. And into object mode, and we press Alt A now, it folds over, just like cloth. Pretty cool, huh? And we can do it with a few other objects. We can do it with, say, let's start off with an object, which is a gear, right here, as you can see. And I'm really wondering, huh, you can make a gear straight away. Yes, I can. If you go into File and User Preferences and Add-ons, it's right there. You can just do it with Enable, but you'll have to save as default, so every time you run, you run it, every time you open a new Blender file, that add-ons are in, stay in place. So we've got that add-on. Add collision to it. Alt A. And it drapes over it nicely. Like that. You can kind of see the shape. Okay, next object is add mesh. Let's try an icosphere. I'm not going to bother with the UV sphere because it's pretty much the same, just slightly different, um, let's say resolution, if you know what I mean. Okay, collision on that. If we press Alt A, that folds over quite nicely. You can have a look at it in there if you want. Okay, next thing need is add mesh tube. Let's try a tube. And let's not cap ends. Just to see if it does make any difference. Oh, collision first. Always remember to add the collision. That doesn't make any difference. I think the only way it would is if you've had more of a weight on here. If you just repeated weight, I might get into it in another tutorial. But, but for now, we'll just keep it like this. And for my final object, we're going to try good... No, nah, I mean, second last object will be our good old Suzanne the monkey. Our rotate X 90 degrees, so it falls right over her head, a bit like a sari, and add collision. And as you see, it falls right over Suzanne's head. Okay, not really like a sari. And eventually it falls. It's that realistic that it actually falls if if in real in reality it would fall, which is quite cool. And this is all over the source, which is even better. And well this is my final object, a cone. And okay, that's a little weird. Uh probably like it's actually realistic enough to actually pierce. It, which is quite cool as well. Okay. This was Orange Funnies, and this is my second tutorial on um, Blender. And this tutorial, of course, is simulating cloth. Oh, and please, um, if you like my videos, subscribe. And if you think that this video is quite good, or any other of my videos are quite good, um, please rate. Thank you for watching.